creatures are, where they came from, and what they plan to do on Earth. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another of these Let's Try series. I see this one has having a lot of potential as becoming a full flesh series. And in fact, it would have been a full flesh series from the get go if it wasn't for one simple thing. I think my chances of playing this game competently from the get go are rather low. And that is because this game is a grand strategy game. And it is in a grand strategy game in a similar genre to, oh, as, and by genre I mean, not as in type of genre of game, I mean genre as in genre of, what do you even describe it, like, not vibe, not, setting, genre of setting, there we go, a genre of setting is XCOM, in a sort of modern day world, but aliens appear and shit happens. Um, so yes, it's a grand strategy game in that sort of setting. Um, there is meant to be a wee bit of storyline, I think. I don't know how much storyline it is. I don't know if it's a big thing or if it's just more of a... to set the scene kind of storyline, then you go about your sandbox. Um, but yeah, when it comes to grand strategy games... I often cover them. I like Grand Strategy Games. I've got a lot of them on my channel. Um, I'm really, really looking forward to Victoria Free coming out next month. And I'm definitely going to be covering a lot of that when it's first released. Um, so yeah, this is normally a game you'd think would go straight to being a full series on my channel. Why is it a Let's Try then? And that's because... I've only seen like the odd screenshot of this game and like snippets, like two seconds worth of gameplay. I have no idea how to play it. And grand strategy games normally they're normally a steep learning curve. So I thought, right, the game's just been released, we'll do a let's try series of it. Then if everything goes well, great, we can just continue into a full flesh series. But what I expect to happen is after a part or two, I'm just going to be like, right, hold my hands up, we need to go back, I'll need to watch some tutorials, learn how this game actually works. Um, and then come back and then maybe do a full series after that. So I don't know. That's why it's a let's try instead of a full flesh series. So with that all done and said, it's, uh, I think that's our caveat of this being slightly different than our other let's try series for reasoning and that sort of mindset. Let's uh, go in and hit a new game. Um, we'll just leave everything as the default. Just taking a look and see here, full solar system, eight factions, and there's all the star select. You're, you've got to choose enable tutorial. You've got to be the resistance. You have any first initiatives? Okay. Because if you want to do the tutorial, and we're going to want to do the tutorial. Cinematic, normal, veteran, brutal. We're definitely going to do normal. You can customise the faction. I just want to take a look at the options. Okay, it doesn't mean customise the faction as in, like, you take away one point of their research, extra research ability and add one into their mining ability. It means more just the name and stuff like that. Okay. That's good to know because that's kind of good for me in the sense that it makes it slightly less complicated. Um, but for replayability, it kind of sucks a wee bit. But then again, you've got that many different factions that probably have different skill sets. I would, at least normally, they'd have slightly different skill sets. Who knows? In this type of game. It depends on the type of grand strategy again, though. Because a lot of the grand strategy games are very sandboxy and very... You sort of create your skill set by what you develop into and what you focus on and what you work on. Um, so yeah, I would imagine it's actually a lot more like that now that I think about it. So I don't, these are probably just names and starting locations and starting strengths is what's different. Probably. Ah, that says start. So yeah, the start of the game, just for anyone that's completely new to this, start of the game is basically just modern world, modern world technology, sort of, you play as an organization in the modern world so if memory serves all the current modern world 
countries and all that are there, and you play as an organization, this global sort of organization, and that's the different factions, and then you've got your objectives and stuff you're trying to do, and then, obviously, aliens coming to Earth changes things drastically, lots of stuff changes, and there's a lot of psychological stuff happens in the minds of humans, and that's about all I know so far, as in soiling-wise. Um, obviously, like, psychological, there'd be a lot of, like, stuff I'd hear as friends, they hear as enemies. Like, the world would be a buzz with insane buzz if something like this did ever happen. And that's all I know so far. And then I'll have seen little snippets of, like, space battles later on. Uh, you build in stuff in space. And so it starts off modern-day technology, but it very quick comes into, like space age technology from what I've seen well I'm saying very quick I don't know that maybe that's all late game I do not know whatsoever so I think that's everything I want to say all said and done so we will pause recording and start again when this loading is done but it looks like it's going to be done any second we remember the day the stars answered the day we learned we were not alone as a familiar sun rose on an unfamiliar universe, some of us saw wondrous possibility and others existential danger. The astronomers had insisted that the bright streak in the sky was no natural phenomenon. Most of us didn't really believe them until it burned through our atmosphere and crashed in a remote region, leaving only wreckage and uncertainty. In our ignorance, we fractured taking refuge in our most primal emotions. Each of us saw what we wanted to see. Everyone loves heroes, depends on them, to save us from evil, lead us through darkness. Problem is, real heroes are always ignored. What no one understands is that being shot at is easy. The hard part is convincing someone they're drowning before it's too damn late. I wouldn't agree people being shot at is easy, but I would agree that it is hard to convince people they're drowning before it is too late. Um, especially when politics starts to get involved, it is insanely hard. Um, but yeah, I would not agree being shot at is easy. Right. Tutorial launched. Welcome to the tutorial for Terra Invicta. This is the beginning of a standard playthrough of the game at the difficulty you selected. The tutorial has two primary components, which function independent of each other. A set of objectives to guide you through the key aspects of gameplay. Some of these objectives may take years to accomplish. Specific steps to take you take to accomplish these objectives appear at the top of the screen. The, uh, I think that's... I don't know where it means by that, we'll work that out later. And these will appear alongside your regular campaign objectives that move the story along. A description of various elements in, ga in the game's interface... Oh yeah, this is the second thing that's real. First, open them. These will help you understand the various tools you have to complete your goals. In addition, many of the game's mechanics are described in the codex. Which you can be opened by question question mark and in game. The campaign starts just before the first mission phase. It's to start playing, either click run the clock using the controls at the top right of the corner or hit continue on all of these notifications. Continue. Okay. UFO crashes on Earth. An alien vessel has crashed down in the Xi'an region of China. While the wreckage is unrecoverable, we suspect an alien life form has escaped into the sound doing countryside. Okay, that is something nice to see here. It's obviously you just won't know what I'm talking about at first, but when I loaded this up to check everything was working before starting to record, um, I loaded up a game and I literally just clicked through this, just spammed, clicked a few things of half reading and then exited the game before I actually played. Um, but it was Russia. It was an area in Russia. So that does add some nice replayability that stuff like this is not scripted to be in one location. So that 
so things do change so your strategy will have to change and all that depending on what happens where so it's not going to be exactly the same every time so there is going to be more replayability than just the different factions okay greetings commander i am pleased to report the council has appointed you leader of our organization i am fiona Iwade, your chief of staff while most of the world is reacting with fascination at the arrival of an alien species on Earth, we represent a small group who believes the aliens' crash landing and disappearance may signify a potential threat. We intend to build an international organization capable of investigating and, if necessary, combating any danger aliens may pose. I recommend we send a Chancellor to investigate the crash site in the Xi'an region as soon as possible. Our other Councillor, not Chancellor, Councillor may be used in trying to gain influence in nations that may be able to contribute resources to our cause. You may review objectives any time. Okay. Our Council is made up of some of the Earth's best and brightest. They are capable, connected and standing by for your orders. After Chancellors have been assigned, mission select confirm same button. If we truly face the threat of invasion, we need to start organising now. We are going to need global cooperation on a never before seen scale. I recommend we start tasking our councillors with gaining support in strategic positions of power across the globe. Okay. Reports are still coming in, but it is clear that an alien object has crashed down on the planet. We should send a counsellor to investigate the site as soon as possible. That will do. You've told me this a few times now. Okay, so we've got all these tool tips. But before we do that, I want to just scroll out so we can... Earth, scroll out to space. So this is Lewis, FL2, FL1. What's that? Are we still zooming in or... Am I zooming in or out? I was, but just I couldn't see anything. See Mars, and if time on pauses, I take it these moves. See, keep zooming out. That is a lot of things here, there, and everywhere. It's a very complicated and busy map. It makes the sun look tiny, even though it's not. Just, but it's just because all these are blown up so you can easily see them and click on them. But it makes the sun look tiny. Because the sun's not a clickable thing. So if we click on Mercury, we can zoom in. And, uh, looks a lot like the moon. Very, very hot though. Very hot, right? We should go back to Earth because we are a long way away from playing the space game. If I just actually go to that, there we go, that takes me back to this view here. So, what's this here? This is So, that's uh, the UFO crash site. Right? These are my two. Counselors, right now. Welcome to Terran Victor. Here you can navigate the UI for the first time. Helpful tips will appear up here. Click on them to get the next This is your main command interface. From here, we can monitor developments across the globe and beyond, send our counselors on missions, direct research and development, and much more. Take some time to familiarize yourself with it. These tutorial windows describe access to the manage your SRS facts throughout the game. Pause menu you can access from here and you can save. So that's basically just a menu then. But I can't click on it right now. Okay. There we go, I can now that it's not there. So save load here. Because your current resources and income, however, over each detail, money, influence, and ops are vital for advancing your goals on Earth. Boost 
and mission control are for developing your space programs, research and engineering, and locking the technologies and modules for your habitats, ships and habitats. Money is used to build components on Earth for our space program, acquire many uh, councillor orgs, conduct certain financial oriented missions, and support our space assets. It is gained from national funding. The spoils, priority orgs, councillors, traits, hab modules, and the sale of space resources on Earth. So we're going to be able to mine in space then to make money and stuff like that. Okay, that's good to know. Influence represents political capital and the ability to sway institutions and people to pursuing your goals. It is gained from favourable global, global public opinion about your factions, ideology, orgs, and councillor traits. Chancellor Councillor traits. I keep getting those two words ugh, that are muddled up in my mind for some reason, like since we started recording this. And to have modules. It is also spent on retaining your control points each month. Ops operations is our ability to conduct small scale combat and espionage operations. It is the pain primarily gained from orbs, so though it can come from councillor traits. Traits and certain hard modules in the Earth interface. Or each point of boost represents the capacity to move 10 metric tons of material from Earth's surface to low Earth orbit via rockets and rocket launches. And the conveyance boost can also deliver items that are more distant destinations at a significant penalty. It is the primary generated from the nations with space program, but also comes from orcs. Mission Control. Mission Control resource accounts for all the staff and technical apparatus required to support our operations in space. Insufficient Mission Control makes it much easier for other factors to seize our space assets and makes accidents more likely, far more likely. We may build or acquire new HABs or ships if we may not build or acquire new HABs or ships if we do not have the Mission Control available. Excess Mission Control is converted into research and money. So this will be really good to have because it will boost our research of money if we're not using it. So I'm taking it, this is like uh, the Houston, we have a problem. This is the Houston, the control room. You see where uh, when they landed on the moon, everyone got up and she... Yeah, that's that. And the more of them you have, the more stuff you can control. Okay. Right, research represents the efforts of scientists. Okay, we know what research means. We know how that works. And control points capacity. Here you can find our current control points counted towards our control point capacity. Being over the top cap cost will result in a daily influence penalty, which will reflect on our nation's influence income tax. I'm getting tongue tied now. Enemy missions targeting our control points will receive a bonus. We may obtain control points to reduce the cost of research projects and increase our. Right, Earth view. We've already worked out what that is. We clicked on it. We've done that. Solar panel view. Yep, we already worked out that. The faction council. Uh, your councillors are your chief agents on Earth, and later throughout in this, in, la uh, play, in later, and later throughout the solar system, by going on missions, they can rally nations to your cause, hunt for aliens, or interfere with the operations of other factions. You can manage and recruit councillors. Earth Nations, the Earth Nations panel puts all nation data into one place. You can also assign priorities to your control points here. Influence other nations of Earth and which mean you establish and grow your domains, blah, 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 blah. View habitats, view details on your factions, space stations and surface bases in the habitats habs panel. You can also order constructions of modules for your existing habs. Your fleets, the fleets panel here, discover fleets as well as designs for new ships and managed ship construction. Your research, it's pretty much and intel, the intel panel, collection of data you've discovered about the aliens and other factions activity on Earth and any space bodies in the solar system. You know, I just realized an alien faction DLC would be really cool for this, so you could play like an expansion at a later date that allows you to play the alien faction. Could be kind of cool. Check back frequently to assess the faction's current knowledge and make better decisions. Change ERP so we can see. Ah, this is going to be like our overlays so we can see this is nations, terrain. Ah, so that just basically lets us see 
Earth, but still with the grid there on top kind of thing, but without it filled in so we actually see what it looks like kind of thing. Nations again. Nations. Population. Per capita GDP. Is there a triangle there that's just like got much greener than everywhere else? What is that triangle? Okay. Control points. Military tech level. Ah, the triangles to click on landmasses that are nearby. Okay, so that's there uh, for a uh, Honolulu. Oh wow, military tech level. Do not show this to North Korea. This game is banned in North Korea, probably. Right. Boost income. I'm guessing America's got pretty good boost income, yeah. So we may want to cozy up with America or Russia right off the get-go. Because I'm imagining it's with this being a resource right from the get-go. Um, it's going to be important early on to get some stuff actually up there, especially how I was talking about how you can make money from space. So it might be good to get a head start and also I'd imagine America would be really nice to cozy up to because they're going to have both money and boost. Does it have a unrest? I take it the greener it is the better and the redder it is the worse. Faction popularity. So is this my faction? So we can see. I think that's Russia liking me slightly. I think. What's the blue mean? Public opinion. Oh, the resistance. We're not that popular in Russia. So we are like a darker light blue. I think we're that one there. We're just, yeah, this is mainly humanity first. So it suits America. Come to Russia. The Academy is the most popular faction there. Right, so where am I based? I started looking here. So let's see. 85% humanity first, so it's pretty varied. I don't seem to be that popular anywhere. There's some red places here, what's this? Humanity first. So is there anywhere that looks like a light blue? Oh, oh, oh friends. I don't seem to be that popular anywhere. Okay, so maybe we're quite a small faction. Which is maybe why we've got this as the tutorial faction. Because there's not as... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is, yeah, we don't seem to be... We may... There might be a nation. If we go to nations tab, we might be able to quickly scroll through and find stuff faster. Like faction control. Terrain, nations. So we'll go back to nations. Right, next step. Oh my word! <laughs> so much we need to learn! This let's try is going to be about 10 parts just from me getting through the user interface. Right, this is the finder panel, so we can find this, 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 this. Okay, I mean, but, ah, there we go, they're back. I can make stuff appear and disappear, and these are all my assets. So literally, is this all I start off with? Two counsellors. Finder panel, okay, right, I know what the finder panel is. Game time settings, I'm pretty used to what those are. View objectives, oh, that'll be nice to see. So we can see tutorial objectives are guided through the game. 
assign councillors to missions. So we've got a couple. Gain a control point in a nation. Campaign objectives. Investigate the alien crash. Uh, general objectives. Control Earth's nation. Industrialize space and build the council. Okay. All right. Information about our currently selected councillor appears in the bottom right of the screen. Their available missions can be found in the bottom center of the screen. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. You already described that to me. That's good. And then last little pop up the objectives we've already seen that good that appears to be us through that part of the tutorial we can start playing now right but there is the nations that's Habs and no there's no it had its own thing this is Intel how Intel this was a council nations there we go let's take a look at this user interface Right, monthly investment points. These represent your nation's the nation's economic surplus that can be distributed to factions with control points. Okay, public opinion. So we are the resistance. What is our symbol? That's our symbol there, like this. Ah, so this is our public opinion. And this is the public opinion of the main faction. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. There's one place here. Belize. Brazil. Now I'm going to try and pronounce that. So yeah, it looks like we're quite a small faction. Turkey. So there's a few places we are, because I thought it might be a good idea to double down on a place we are uh, quite popular already, but considering like Turkey, Brazil, you can see the resistance 24%, so... all the way over here. I think we're going to want to try and cozy up to America off the get-go. Actually, what, what is our... Here, we are 4% here, public opinion. Now, does that all add up to... Because that's not how public opinion works in real life. Does that all add up to 100% and you add all them together? I would imagine so, because it looks like it's about that amount. And it's whenever I click anywhere, they all seem to be roughly, and it showed this as a graph here. The way public opinion works in real life is both factions could have a 100% kind of thing. But this, instead of being public opinion, this is more... If it came down to vote, what percentage of the vote should get? So I think it's... Hmm, not the best way of wording it, but not the worst way of wording it. It's sort of like, I can't think of anything that would be a better way to word it. So. What were we in Russia? Russia was another one that had a really good booster. This is where it even lower than 3% of the public would vote for us, is the way I'm going to describe it. Right, I then I'm going to try and cozy up to America. Now I am Brad activist. Reporting in. Oh! We've got someone in America already. And he's an activist. So we've got an Ready activist. To go. And then we've got a scientist in Britain. And let's do a council here. We can recruit more. So let's recruit more. An inspector, a fixer, spy, a hacker, an astronaut, a politician. It costs 60, which we don't have enough of this. We've got 50. An investigator. Right. I 
think we're gonna wait for now. We're gonna try and save up and get one of the more expensive ones. Maybe a politician. I think having a politician in our pocket would be a good idea. But again, this is all just guesswork at the moment. Where's all these? Oh, so these are the objectives. This is what I meant. Which is why I want to go a picture of China. Who's the popular people in China? Because I thought they just had another thought there. It might be a good idea to get in with China because they've got the only access to aliens at the moment. And how's that going to be important? I don't know. But yeah, okay. Let's start off with our scientist and let's take a look. Uh, control nation. Gain an open control point in the nation states. Go to ground. Investigate alien activity. You're going to send to. I'm going to send the scientist, that makes more sense to me to send the scientist. Investigate, confirm assignment. You have councils for the Russian society, are you sure you want to end the mystery? Oh no, 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 Investigate. There we go. Available missions. So, 100% success chance is that? She's going to go investigate the crash site, and they're scientists, so I would imagine they're good at that. Let's come over here and take a look at our activist Ready for in America. He's in America. So, let's see what his actions are. Control Nation. Okay. Yeah, coup d'etat, overthrow the government, and reset its control points. Uh, public campaign, increase public support of the nation and our cause. Increase unrest. Inspire. Improve the loyalty of another. Interrogation attempts. We also turn back. Turn to our side. I think we are going to public campaign in America. Oh, 30% chance of success. That's pretty bad. 67 up here in Canada 69 Brazil's only 55 75 82 see this reminds me of XCOM where I'm like I remember the numbers and be like yeah what was it like in Russia 23% that's still not great 83% where should we try and improve 70% in Ireland. Faction popularity. Unrest. Boost income is really bad pretty much everywhere apart from a few places. Can I influence nations that are wealthy to start military tech level? points per capita GDP because it wouldn't be possible to be, take a rich place and for them to start building boosters I would imagine there's going to be more places than just Russia and America will eventually end up with rockets China normally has a wee bit of a space program doesn't it as well okay it doesn't really have much there oh wait I'm in per capita control points the boost income. Yeah, you can see it's got a wee bit up there. Right. Ireland has quite was quite rich. Anyway, sir. So maybe if I can't get, but then again, it's rich. Per capita, like per person, but it was it's quite small. The population will be quite low, so even though it's rich per person, there might not there won't be an awful lot of people there, so it won't be a lot. Better. And I'm a small faction too, so maybe a small population would be ideal for me, because a lot of people might not be interested in it, but they're still quite wealthy. So if I could get them building some space age technology, I don't know how much I can influence them to do that. Though. Oh, there's so much decisions! I 
I've not even started pause time yet. Right, let's let's just do Ireland. Yeah. We'll make our appeal. Boom, so he's, he's gonna go to Ireland and try and So we see you're doing that. You why is your mission not appeared there? Okay, I don't think it will appear then. If it confirms, when you have counselors, no mission saved. Oh no. So you've still not got that mission saved. We'll recon the site. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Right. Let's take a look at the technology, research, and development. Mission to space. Space. The resistance is going to trade. Oh, so this is it's a global research kind of thing. Is it? See, we're making 1.5 research a day. We're generating 1.5 daily issues following from one faction headquarters, from the councillors, from mission control. Our monthly income is 46.5. Our annual income is 557.9. Research represents efforts and scientists. We are receiving the following bonuses. Research capital is 15%. So missions to space! I like the space! Acquire an orb, one of the council's grand engineering project to unlock additional product capacity. Missions to space. I like the sound of building stuff to space, so. That's the full tech tree. Change project. This is a repeatable project. There's about a hundred each time it's repeated. Change project. Management research, commercial research. I don't like any of them. Global. Oh, wait, this is global research. So, I completed that set of research for. I'm confused. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, so I'm kind of, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take our, all our stuff out of this because I don't want to just spend my research on. Okay, so this would put all my points into that. I can put one point, one point. So 33% of my research is going into, I really want space stuff. So 50% into space, 25, 25 into the other two. So I'm, yeah, I want space stuff, the space stuff. I want to launch rockets into space. Listen to space. So we can just take a quick look at the tech tree again. So we can see here, missions to space, described for the following techs. Orbital shipbuilding, or outpost tab, space tourism, Skywatch. So you see all this stuff, all this stuff. Titanic spacecraft. Oh, I really want future tech. Right, I think we're nearly ready to unpause time. This we're getting here. I think we're nearly like we're. The first part is going to be slightly longer to help it be found, but let's see how it 
Corps. So we've got the International Space Station, the ISS, in orbit, which is owned by this faction, and the uh, Tiangong Space Station. Ah, that's what those things were. So they're not they're not locations on the map, they're stations in space. In low orbit. Okay. Yeah, so there's the ISS. So we see we don't have any. But we can see everyone's stuff there. Fleets and ship construction. Aww. Design ship class. Oh, what ship classes. We don't have any ship classes. Ship construction. Perhaps. Yeah, we don't have any the ability to do any of that stuff. I wanted to, really badly wanted to just take a look and see if there was just some basic rust bucket ship we could take a look at designing and building a ship. But yeah, alas, it's not to be. I really wanted to see a space battle as well. Yeah, but I really don't think we're anywhere near being the ability to get a space battle. I've seen like these ships flying around planets, attacking like asteroids or whatever it was, not planets. Yeah. So I think we can now. Oh wait, confirm assignments. We have completed the assigned councillor's mission objectives. You have been able to assess your councillors to ass assign your councillors to new missions at the beginning of each mission phase, which occurs weekly, and will slow down to twice per month as the game progresses. You may wish to increase the game space during uh, controls in the top right. Okay, we completed an objective. What is my next objective? Gain a control point in a nation. And investigate the alien crash. We're going to be the two that I can do it relatively soon. Oh, got On the left hand here. side of your interface is the news feed. It will keep you apprised of important events. Sometimes sensitive updates about our operations will also appear in the top left of your screen. Is that tank fighting? Looks like there's a fight or something going on here. We're going to need to click on that so we can get a battle. The 8th Guard Army. So, Russia. Is having a well, well, that is that is rather on the nose. Russia and Ukraine are fighting. Right. So I think we can now. Oh, time is going. Time is advanced. So how long? So it's the week until this mission completes. So let's see, the UK's got their first division of tanks there in London. Let's uh, speed things up. Oh, I like how you can see this stuff orbiting. That's rather nice. I didn't realise, I knew, when you think about it, I never really thought about it till now, but they're a lot closer than you think to the Earth. Like, you always think of them as really far away, like, this far, this far away is my camera. When you think about it, they're actually much closer, like, this close. I just never really thought about it. Oh, one thing I want to scroll out and we can take a look. We speed things up even faster. Yeah, you can see the mineral. Okay, we're gonna need to do that in a second. Can I? No. Aww. I can't see other stuff rotating. Right, let's go back to the planet. Right, we may now recruit our factions management team. We have, as we stand up the resistance operations, we are selecting an internal management team to help oversee our affairs. Well, we are gathering personnel from a variety of disciplines at your discretion. We have size of particular specialty. Science naming names. See, the research is global research, so everyone unlocks the technology. So. I would normally go science and engineers, but I'm the little guy. I need every benefit I can get. Let the big guys push the technology. Let them advance the technology. 
I'm needing to try and save every penny we can get. So yeah, I want to increase our money. sway in their minds. Right, your public campaign mission in Ireland has failed to impact on popular support. Council pressures. Application failure. Success chance rules out settings. Outcome failure. We try again. Repeat the mission. Continue. Right, so this is the new Wrapping here. up here. Business belt management teams for some reason money. UN Security Council meets. The UN Security Council has met to discuss the alien arrival. Unfortunately, the hoped for show of international unity did not materialize, with China, Russia, and the United States accusing each other of hiding knowledge about the alien crash and preventing full access to the site. We have an opportunity to shape events in our, to our advantage, even make our case directly to the nations of the world. However, with the eyes of the world on these meetings, our councillors' risk of exposure to our enemies is extremely high. I mean, in the shadows, nothing happens. Quietly steer support to the resistance. Gain 25 of what that is again, I can't remember, what is it? Influence? Uh, grants a small public opinion boost to the resistance around the world. Information about the resistance will be exposed to our enemies. Deliver our manifest to the world. Gain 15 triggers upon grant a public opinion boost around the world. A great deal of information about the resistance. Quiet, we'll do the it quiet. It has thing. always been true that we must leave the cradle if our species is to survive. If these aliens are indeed hostile, the time to go is now. Exodus, an organization that has found this in the Gap Tech migrates. Are they funding space exploration before the alien arrival? Now, with proof of interstellar travel from the region, they are focusing their efforts into leading an expedition beyond Earth's solar system. So, I take it this faction's uh, Project Exodus, their ultimate goal, I take it, is a colony out there in space. Because we're doing this here in Ireland, what is even our. Like, so we see the resistance resist the aliens, it's going up 4%. And if the aliens are evil, I'm guessing the resistance is generally a good faction. Sounds like that colony one's also generally a good faction. My faction's main goal is keeping humanity alive, and I'm guessing we're going to be able to gain in power very fast. If the aliens appear to be hostile or take any hostile actions, okay, let's see if we can come in here. We can recruit national politicians. So let's recruit a politician. Boom, we've got a politician now in our. Why are you. Oh, we know because we can't assign you a new mission yet because it's got to be away a week. We will be ready for new orders Wait, soon. Mission On the left hand side of your interface is the news feed. It will keep you apprised. Uh, we should make every effort to understand the nation's social and. Blah, 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 blah. see is uh, GDP is going down, that's not good. Diverse, advanced, people's on the rise. So see the science is going down. Peaceful is going down. There's two control points, which are both going to the academy right now. So we want to try and steal one. 
here, where we the main, we should probably try and take these control points away from the academy. So there, because we are. Yeah, undecided. Forty-four percent. Yeah, we're the main people here, so we probably could get access to these pretty easy. These control points. Right, but anyway. This will be a part. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this. It's mainly been a... Let's take a look around. Let's see what the user interface is. Sort of part. Oh my word, there's lots of stuff now. Um, yeah, hope you have enjoyed this. Join me on for the next part where we'll play for a wee bit and actually get to play the game. But, so yeah, hope you have enjoyed this. See you all next time. Bye. See you.